We are not friends. Levi speaks on hiding his affair with Alex. We will be talking about Levi speaking and saying they're not just friends with Alex. When Levi made his debut, Alex made it a point to make him feel at ease and become close to him. But as they did more together in Among Us mod videos, their relationship grew closer, and their dynamic completely changed on another channel. Alex and Levi have an intriguing friendship. Levi is frequently the first and only squad member to witness Alex murdering someone or venting in Among Us. Instead of reporting her, Levi assists Alex in winning the game. In more recent videos, Alex assists him in winning as the imposter. Alex and Levi have opposing personalities, so it's difficult to imagine them getting along, but they do. In many Among Us games, Alex refers to Levi as Silly Goose and Best Friend. When one is the imposter, the other either joyfully or fearfully assists the other in winning. However, the former is more often than not the case. Alex occasionally becomes envious when Levi is seen with another girl, usually Charlie, and attacks her because he is her best friend. Many fans began to ship them or suspect Levi and Alex were dating. Both become more kind, considerate, and easygoing when reacting to Gotcha Life mini movies than they are in Alex's main channel. The two have a lot of fun reacting to other people's stories, but they still share a few laughs. Things are usually calm for them because there's no gameplay or roleplay. However, in the newer squad videos and Alex's Princess Alex videos, the two get along very well, and Alex frequently refers to Levi as her best friend. There were also a Princess Alex video in which Alex and Levi switched bodies, minds, brains, and vocal cords. Their personalities are somewhat inverted on Princess Alex. Levi is more upbeat and optimistic, and he's making the most of their lives in Brookhaven RP. Alex, on the other hand, who's interested in more feminine things, becomes moody and desires more than she already has. Levi handles it initially by supporting Alex all the way, but this eventually causes Levi to become irritated with Alex's behavior, even giving up on her and their friendship. They do, however, get along well at the end of each episode. Alex and Levi have a special bond with fans all over the world. Many fans value their friendship, and some have even shipped them. However, during Zack's break, the Levi shippers have recently been flamed for sending death threats to Zack. Zack solved the widespread pandemic when he mentioned that people can ship whatever they want and that he didn't care about the death threats. After watching that video, hopefully the fandom will be able to recover. Our large group just sort of split into pairs at the moment we walked into the arcade. Zack and Drake were the first to split up, leaving after noticing a pair of machines with the same racing game for player versus player gameplay. All those twins had to do was look at each other and they were gone. Man, I guess the twins are really that close. Lincoln and girl Jordan, on the other hand, could have left first because they just kind of split away from us right away. I'm glad their relationship is going well, just like mine with Zack. Then there were Light and Charlie. I'm not sure Light wanted to pair up with Charlie because he seemed to notice something and walked away, with Charlie following. Finally, there were Jax and Brad, two best friends in their own right. Hello Brad, Jax stated. There are basketball hoops in the back. Oh, we have to play, Brad chimed in. I'm definitely going to beat your bark right now. You most likely will. Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. After all, we're here to have a good time. Boy, you said it. Brad and Jax turned to look at Jade and I before they left. Do you mind if we... Brad began. Brad and Jax turned to look at Jade and I before they left. Do you mind if we... Brad began. Don't be concerned, I interjected. I know I'm your squad leader, but you don't have to ask me for permission all the time. I'm aware of that, I'm just saying. You said it yourself, believe me. We're here to have a good time. You two go have a good time. Of course, we'll be fine, Jade elaborated. After that, Jax and Brad left us alone. We ultimately decided on a Call of Duty Zombies machine. Not only were Jade and I pretty good at the game, but we had a lot of fun playing it. Every now and then, I'd glance over to see how the rest of my friends were doing. I'd see how competitive the twins became, Light and Charlie spending time together, and Brad really outshooting Jax's Bart. Lincoln and girl Jordan were also cute whenever I saw them together, even when they were competing. I mean, our groups didn't just play or hang out with each other. We play with others or all together at times, such as when we played skee ball. I think the best time was when we all ate pizza together as a big group. We all agreed on two large pepperoni pizzas. It was a peaceful meal, seeing as how we were all having fun playing games and hanging out. To be honest, it felt like Lincoln and girl Jordan were members of the squad. Thinking about it, that wouldn't be such a bad idea, but we have plenty of members already. Sora is still ill, and Luca is about to move in. At the very least, if Lincoln and Girl Jordan joined, we wouldn't have to move them into the clubhouse. In addition, there are other issues and things in our way right now. 
This was quite ironic given that Lincoln had chosen to tell the same story the day before, obviously in his view. He'd also taken care to leave out anything he and Jordan had done or said that would make them appear to be a couple. Lincoln made it clear that Jordan wasn't the only person he played with, and that he also socialized with the other squad members. Lincoln reflected on everything as he told the story. How beautiful Jordan was the entire time, his suspicions about seeing Charlie and Light together, and the overall competitiveness during any game someone played against another. The Loud looked down at his phone, still waiting for a response from Jade. Well Jade, I really hope you get those videos sent to me soon. I spent more time yesterday telling you the story, so you should be fine by now." Lincoln pondered, still unsure what was to come. In the real world, sisters outside his mind. He didn't get out of his thoughts until he felt both Luna and Lori on either side of him, nudging him. Lincoln, Luna and Lori both said it at the same time. What? what Lincoln said, still reeling from the abrupt return to reality. Everyone was just trying to find out if the videos had been sent yet, Luna explained. Yeah, Link, were you even listening? Lori inquired, her face concerned. Of course I was, she exclaimed. Lincoln responded with trepidation. Well, Lynn inquired rudely, much to everyone's chagrin. Minus Luna, who knew. My friend Jade said it's sending, but it will take a few minutes, Lincoln elaborated. Is this the same one from Tuesday? Yup. Well, I'm glad you got some free tickets to those events, Lincoln and Luna, Lynn Sr. said to the siblings. But, Rita began, adding a bit of complication to the situation. You did hear Lincoln, so I recommend that you all finish your dinner and then watch the videos when they're sent. The loud matriarch clarified the situation. Well, hopefully the videos will arrive soon, Link, Lynn stated. I'm actually curious how it turned out. Zack and Jax have had a strained relationship since Zack began hanging out with Alex. Alex is frequently called upon to break up fights between the two. They're constantly attempting to attack each other. Zack's fangirls admire him for his popularity, good looks, and wealth. He's disappointed to discover that they're only interested in these things and not in his personality. As a result, whenever a random girl confides in him about her feelings, he will reject the confession and make derogatory remarks about the girl. Moreover, with the exception of Alex, he has no feelings for the girls at his school. Zachary Todd was the birth name of Zachary Zaxer. He began his YouTube career in early 2015. He began his journey with a Minecraft gameplay video. The viewers thought he was unique and entertaining. That's all we had for you for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If so, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, show us some love by clicking on the like button below and sharing the video with your friends and family. Turn on the notification bell to get updates on our newest videos. That's all we had for today. Bye, see you next time in the upcoming video.